hello my beautiful people welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're one of my returning subscribers thank you for always coming back to watch me and if you're new here i really appreciate you joining us today today's recipe is very simple and easy to follow if your hair is shedding if you're losing a lot of hair if your hair is thinning you might want to stay and make sure you follow all the steps my first ingredient for today's recipe is bay leaf bay leaf is really great because of its benefits it is packed with antioxidants that is going to help stimulate blood flow to your scalp which will in turn help stimulate new healthy hair growth bay leaf also can help prevent dandruff and other scalp issues so i just plugged my bay leaves i'm gonna put it aside and move on to my next ingredient but hey you all you know how it's over here but if you're new here and you don't know how it's over here, we show a lot of love around this channel. So please show your girl some love by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell. So each time I upload DIYs for hair growth like these, you will always be notified. And do not forget to share this video with your friends, your families, as well as on your social media platform. All right, so this is clothes, the famous clothes. If you're trying to grow your hair or you're on a hair growth journey, or you love using natural ingredients and you haven't used clove, then you're missing out on something good. Or if you have used clove but didn't work for you, it means you didn't use it the right way. So in this recipe, I'm gonna show you one way that you can use clove to benefit your hair growth. Clove is really good when it comes to hair growth and also preventing hair breakages. My next natural ingredient is rosemary herbs. Rosemary is another great natural ingredient that you must incorporate in your hair care routine. Rosemary will also prevent hair loss, hair breakages, hair thinning. It is also going to stimulate blood flow in your scalp to help you grow new healthy hair. So as you can see, all these three ingredients have similar properties. They are super powerful and they're going to help you achieve your goals when it comes to hair growth. So I washed my rosemary herbs before using them. Then after that, I put everything in a saucepan. Then I tap the saucepan with water. I'm going to make a big batch of this recipe because I'm going to use it for some days. So after that, I'm going to boil it for about 15 minutes. I'm going to set it aside to allow it to cool down. Once it is cooled down, it is time for me to strain it. So I'm going to strain it and leave it in a bowl. Then after that, I'm going to transfer it into my containers. I'm going to show you how I'm going to use this recipe. As I said, I made the big batch. So definitely there are ways I'm going to use this in order to benefit my hair growth. So keep watching and pay attention to all the different ways you can use this recipe to benefit your hair growth. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is to get a huge container like so. I'm going to transfer this recipe into the container. Make sure when you prepare this, you're not leaving it on the counter. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. So whenever I need it, I just use it. But you do not have to keep it more than five days. After five days, you will need to discard and make a new batch. One thing you need to keep in your mind is... In order for you to grow length hair, fuller or increase the volume of your hair, you need to retain length. So any recipe that is going to help you stop hair breakages, hair shedding is what you have to stick to. Because the more you keep losing your hair or your hair starts to break, then your hair will start to thin. Then you will never experience thicker hair or longer hair. So this recipe is going to do just that. You just have to be consistent with the use in order to get all the benefits. Again, I'm going to show you two different ways that you can use this recipe in order to help you prevent hair breakages and also grow your hair much faster. So after transferring some into the bigger bottle, I'm going to transfer some of the recipe also into mason jars. Also, I'm going to put some in a spray bottle. 
But hey, you all, if you're still watching me to this point and you haven't already done so, what are you waiting for? Please show your girl some love by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell so each time I upload DIYs for hair growth like these, you will always be notified. And when you subscribe, do not forget to share this video with your friends, your families, as well as on your social media platforms. And thank you for doing all that. All right, so once I have my recipe transferred into containers like so, I'm going to put them in the refrigerator. So let me show you how I use the ones in the mason jar. So my wash days, I grab one of the mason jars, warm it up, make sure the recipe is warmed up to a temperature that your scalp can tolerate. After washing your hair, rinsing out the shampoo, conditioning your hair and rinsing out the conditioner, you're going to apply this recipe all over your hair and massage it in. After that, you're going to pat dry your hair and just go ahead to moisturize your hair. Also, the one that I put in the spray bottle, I make sure to add some oil to it. This one is going to be my everyday use. You can add any oil of your choice. I added olive oil because I love what it does to my hair. But you can add grapeseed oil, avocado oil, even coconut oil. Just make sure you add about a tablespoon and shake the bottle up. I also make sure to add my essential oil. Today, I decided to add some tea tree oil because tea tree essential oil will also treat your scalp and stimulate new healthy hair growth. Just a few drops will go a long way. Again, you can add any essential oil of your choice. Spray this in your hair four times a week. Leave it in. When you spray it, make sure you are massaging it into your hair. Apply a moisturizer and be consistent for faster results. 